Fellow citizens, last night I ordered U.S. military forces to Panama. No president takes such action lightly. This morning, I want to tell you what I did and why I did it. For nearly two years, the United States, the nations of Latin America and the Caribbean have worked together to resolve the crisis in Panama. The goals of the United States have been to safeguard the lives of Americans, to defend democracy in Panama, to combat drug trafficking, and to protect the integrity of the Panama Canal Treaty. Many attempts have been made to resolve this crisis through diplomacy and negotiations. All were rejected by the dictator of Panama, General Manuel Noriega, an indicted drug trafficker. Last Friday, Noriega declared his military dictatorship to be in a state of war with the United States and publicly threatened the lives of Americans in Panama. The very next day, forces under his command shot and killed an, un an unarmed American serviceman, wounded another, arrested and brutally beat a third American serviceman, and then brutally interrogated uh, his wife, threatening her with sexual abuse. That was enough. General Noriega's reckless threats and attacks upon Americans in Panama created an imminent danger to the 35,000 American citizens in Panama. As president, I have no higher obligation than to safeguard the lives of American citizens. And that is why I directed our armed forces to protect the lives of American citizens in Panama and to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. Duly elected, a government that will soon take over the operation of its own canal. A government and a people supported by the money that belongs to them and was returned to them after being held in safekeeping for them by the United States. A government that was given the ability to assume its rightful place through the recent actions of U.S. forces. The Panamanian people in the streets are glad for the new opportunity they've been given. Well, I, I, feel, I feel pretty good because of the Panama situation. And a lot of Panamanians feel very, not bad, they feel good about it, you know. And American is, you know, helping out a lot of poor people in Panama, so they're glad about it. That's all I got to say. You don't know me, but I'm your girl. Uh, I was raised here. I said that the communism only leaves misery and, and every, everything that is bad. I mean, he said that communism, rep he said that communism doesn't represent anything good for humanity, just misery. What do you think of the U.S. coming into Panama? We should have done it long time. Way too long. Excellent. But I think that the American came 20 years late because they have come 20 years before Torrijos. I'm very happy. I was expecting this. I'm glad that they are here, and I hope they come here to stay here for a long time.
Well, everybody feel good. Very proud of it because they will have a lot of protection and they, you know, they feel safe completely. They think it's a new life coming back, you know, because when it was Noriega, they were feeling like, you know, everything was down. Now they feel a new life is coming up, you know, a lot of jobs, a lot of money, free life. We don't want to work, it's just because they don't want to. They feel like now the U.S. US come in to Panama, they feel there's a lot of freedom in Panama, so that's, a, that's it. A Black Hawk helicopter en route to Howard Air Force Base and drug agents arrested him on the spot. He was handcuffed inside the C-130 transport plane. Because the wait for justice, for democracy, for freedom is... footage you're looking at covers what remains of the Comandancia. It is burning to the ground. There is still sporadic fire coming out in and around the Comandancia. Obviously there are some diehards. <laughs> studs, I hope you know that. Yeah, that's us. We are it. Attention. Alejense de esta área sin más demora. Mayor daño 
pero tenemos que cumplir con nuestra misión. Si permanecen aquí, se continúan arriesgando. Ayúdenme. I catch you, I catch you in the stock. Huh? I bring in the lunch, in my wife in the gymnasium. Kind of there, huh? orgulloso. Yo quiero añadir. 
norteamericano, sino gobierno norteamericano y Panamá se habría hundido por completo. Soy tan nacionalista como cualquier otro panameño y... We have a, an incredibly good response from the members of the military, thousands of them coming back to assume their basic job of providing security in full respect for human rights. We have named yesterday the chief and the second in command of the public force and other key positions of the public force are being named uh, today. All of the interior of the country has accepted and is now supporting the democratic government of reconstruction and national reconciliation. What do you speak for the future of Panama? I feel that this Christmas has been the dividing point between a country going down the drain and a country emerging with difficulty yet, but with a sense of horizon and of hope. It has been the most difficult moment of our history, but we're coming through and we're going to build our nation in peace, in liberty, and in dignity. Do you expect that the United States will do what they did? No, we learned about it two hours before it took place. We never asked for the invasion. We did everything conceivable to make it unnecessary from anybody's point of view. But once the U.S. decided it, on account of the criminal behavior of General Noriega, we took the decision to respect the will of the Panamanian people, assume the civilian government, and assure our country conditions that could make it possible for U.S. forces to withdraw as soon as is feasible. What do you expect for Noriega? To be right here or take a place like this? Obviously, if he's going to be captured, he's going to be captured by U.S. forces. And we understand that the President of the United States, as head of the U.S. forces, has responsibilities of criminal prosecution. So we don't expect that he'll be handed over to us. What do you expect now for the United States to do for Panama? Well, to help create conditions so that it will be soon unnecessary for any American soldier to remain in Panama.
Banco Nacional y Guayana. so we can see more cash. Oh, I'm like, you heard a camera like that.
I want to do here. or the roadblock even closer. Have they got the monitor set up in the area? They need a monitor like that one. Force base. Flight line. Flight line. Uh, alpha ramp. Alpha ramp. For what seems to be proving, what proves to be a very interesting shoot. Yeah. 